Greetings my fellow God Eaters, my name is The Corrupted TV, and I'm here to bring you my last but ultimate guide for getting into God Eater 2. Let's end this off with a bang, shall we? What I'm going to do in this episode is give you guys a myriad of tips of getting into this game, starting from the beginning and even helping veteran players out. So the first thing I'm going to cover in this particular section of the video will be the skills that you may obtain in God Eater 2. Let's say you completed yourself a couple of missions. You got yourself some origami, no, not some origami, some abandoned god arcs per se. And you just don't exactly know what to do with those yet. You just have a, just a bundle of them and you just don't exactly know what to do with them. Well, here you go. First things first, I do want to say that uh, these skills, installing these skills, there are no particular way to do it right. It all depends on what you want. I always want to express that the most. It all depends on what you are looking for as a player, or you're playing online, you have a group that you want to knock out online content with, or if you're an offline guy and you want to play with your AI teammates. The waifus that you love so much are the husbandos that you may love so much. And you want to build those guys up from the bottom? I recommend skills that uh, pertain around charisma that increase their overall abilities on top of the abilities that you can give them with the skill points that they can get while playing with them. But even knowing that you may need a step in the right direction, I say this, while you're in the early game you're going to get basic abilities, you're just going to get stuff like HP and OP and things like that. Uh, what I recommend is you be on the lookout for any ability that you read and it says starts at level 10 if you do not have a level 10 version of that particular abandoned god arc or skill it I don't want to say it's absolutely useless but you will not be getting the full benefits of what that skill is be it in the beginning or at end game when they have those compound skills if it pretty much has nothing at starts at level 10 if they're all cumulative I say that's awesome go for it use it but if you do have one that does say uh, starts at level 10 unfortunately you may want to do away with that for example what I have on the screen now is a level 8 ability of acrobat team and beloved making compound skill gale formation since that is a level 9 ability but all the abilities within that one start at level 10 that one is practically worthless whereas if you find something like item master that I think was shown in the video earlier if you come across item master all the abilities are that are cumulative so you're getting the full benefits of that level 9 ability as opposed to having a different level 9 ability being virtually useless to you because like half of the ones that are in there start at level 10 and it's not level 10. The next tip that I'm going to show you guys this time will be skill rebuilding. Let's say you're at end game and you have conquered many origami along your <laughs> along your trail of blood and skill points in your wake. Well, you're gonna you're gonna get a bunch of them that you don't like. So you might want to empty your inventory, you might want to clear some space out for maybe potentially better ones. You can go over here, take a minimum of three abandoned god arcs, I'm going to call them skills. You could just take any assortment of three, the minimum needs to be three, you can just take those, combine them into one, and it will just come become a random abandoned, abandoned guard arc with a random ability on it. You can't get plus ones with these, I don't think, but it is a good way to try to clean up that inventory of skills that you have. You guys might also be asking me, alright Eddie, or the Corrupted TV, if the minimum is three, what is the maximum? Actually, the maximum, it depends on the rarity of the ones that you're trying to give away. So you can have like 30 plus you can have 30 plus green ones and you might get something decent out of there but say if you go into your gold and your compound abilities depending on the rarity will depend on the maximum that you can fuse together uh, it all varies too that there's no I don't have a particular answer for you right now but it is it does scale off the rarity just don't know the scaling sorry 
I believe this little tidbit goes without saying, but you never, you absolutely never under any circumstance want to get rid of your plus ones. You're going to need those to put those into your weapon, and you're going to make the origami bleed just a tiny bit more. Next thing we're going to go after this time will be the personal abilities of the AI that you play with. Let's say you finally do pick that husbando or that waifu that you were after for so long, and you want to do everything with them. You want to cherish your moments together, kill origami with them. Well, they generate AP points when you take them out on missions with you. And what you can do with those is you can give them a set of four abilities that you can put on them to make them stronger or to benefit yourself. It goes to any MMO role. You can have Nanakazuki be a tank. You can have uh, you can have uh, Gilbert. You can have him be a DPS. You can take the best girl in God Eater, my humble opinion, Gina. And what I did with her is I made her give get God of Rare Drops. So that way I have a better chance of getting rare abilities when I devour well rare materials whenever I devour an Argon. Oh, guys, did I also forget to mention that it also works for support characters as well. Uh, while support characters can't personally help you out in the field, you can find that particular support character that suits your taste. Whether you like men, whether you like women, maybe if you like the lollies, perhaps. I'm not here to judge you. It's the internet, all right? There's got milfs. They have a big ass hamster that you can choose. But regardless of which, they have taste for just about anybody. And what you can do is you can take you can take a particular support character that you like, and it will help you after you succeed a mission. It can give you more chances to get more abilities, generate more AP, more GAP, get more money. Get rare abilities, get those awesome tickets. Ah, uh, the possibilities are nearly endless. But yes, but absolutely. Uh, support characters are to be cherished. While they can't directly assist you on the battlefield, they can make you reap the rewards that are just oh so great. Some of you guys might be thinking, all right, Eddie, well, who'd you pick as your support? Well, it turned out that Dr. Leia turned out to be my favorite. Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. I do not want to be judged, all right? And I believe the last subject that I want to talk to you guys about this time will be the burst system. So, let's get into the nitty gritty of it. The burst system is, it's a universal buff that allows your player to hit harder, defend better. Uh, it comes with automatic oracle regeneration. It overall, it's just the best thing that you want to have. I believe the level 1 burst gives you a 10% uh, omnipotence buff, level 2 is a 15, then level 3 burst, which is the best burst of all time, will give you a 20% buff to your damage, a 20% buff to your defense, your oracle will reduce, I mean reduce, will increase a little bit faster, and it just makes everything that much better. And there are many ways to keep yourself in bursts. You can devour an origami where it's a quick one or a full one. Uh, if you do the quick one, I believe it just gives you 15% of burst. If you were to do a full on a full on devour on an origami, you'll get one full level. Uh, Eddie, no, you guys are thinking, Eddie. Well, how do I get to level two and how do I get to level three? Either you get that via skills. Or you can have one of your AI teammates or one of your co-op buddies that you're playing with. What it'll do is that's how you get yourself up to level 2 and level 3. You just keep on devouring and you will probably never lose burst unless the fight direction takes you to a different way. So it is. it goes without saying that, hey, if you have burst, you're going to do well. If you don't have burst, you are probably going to suffer. I do believe that will be the end of all the tips that I can give you guys for God Eater 2. I've made weapon guides, I've made gun with bullet guides, I made a small origami, uh, well abandoned God Art guide for you guys already. I believe with this video here, my tenure will be finished. I hope that, that I've made you guys happy along the way and I can't wait to see what will happen to me in the future regarding my channel. Uh, Last thing, a few notes. Uh, 
you guys will want to go to wasteoftime.com. I will have it linked in the description for you. That is the Universal Origami Part Finder. Uh, you can go in there. There's a particular piece that you need to upgrade your origami, or rather your god arcs. You can go there and you can see what piece that you need, how to get it, what difficulty, what you need to kill, what type of devour that you needed to do, what that you need to do to get there. I'd also want to say that that belongs to Spinning Ocelot on Twitter. I did not make this at all. That is totally his thing. He took his time to make that to help all of us God Eaters out. I would say go over there, give him a thank you and everything. And last but not least, I do have, well, I'm not, I didn't, this isn't mine. I am a part of the God Eater Discord channel that you can find on Reddit. You can find it all over the internet or something like that. And I'll have a link to that. I think it's going to be a never ending link. I'll have that in the description below as well. Come through there. I'm a part of there. Come say hello. Uh, if you want to go pick up people to play some co-op with, you want to hunt down origami with another human, go for it. Go in there. Try to see if you can get yourself some games. And with that, I bid you guys adieu. Thank you for everything, and I will see you guys.